Energy Restoration Tips Rule Out Health Imbalances What if you're exercising, eating healthy, cleaning up the physical and emotional clutter in your life, and you still feel drained and tired all the time? The issue may be something physiological. By all means, continue to practice all those wonderfully good habits which can boost your energy. But you should also probably schedule a total health checkup with your doctor. Aside from revealing a cause of low energy, regular checkups can identify debilitating diseases and conditions you did not even know you had. The following physical ailments can lead to extremely low energy and more dangerous, even deadly circumstances if not treated. Hypothyroidism Michael B. Schachter, MD, FACAM, is just one of many doctors and health professionals that recognize hypothyroidism as one of the most underdiagnosed negative health conditions in the world. If your thyroid system is underactive, you may experience difficulty losing weight, depression, a slower thought process, low energy, and fatigue. This tired feeling especially attacks in the morning if hypothyroidism is a factor in your life. Adrenal weakness. Located just above your kidneys, your adrenal glands are linked to your stress response. The medulla is part of your adrenal glands that helps control your metabolism and ability to cope with stress. When this part of your nervous system is out of whack, you can experience a lack of sleep, anxiety, depression, and poor diet, which directly and negatively impact how energetic you feel. Iron deficiency. A simple checkup, which you should schedule once or twice a year, may reveal an iron deficiency if you lack energy much of the time. Multiple bodily functions are negatively impacted by lower levels of iron. Unfortunately, early stages of iron deficiency have little symptoms. That means that once you begin to feel tired and weak because there's not enough iron in your body, this condition can rapidly weaken you. A heightened susceptibility to infection and slow mental processing are two more symptoms of an iron deficiency. Lyme disease, smoking, obesity, diarrhea, depression, low blood pressure, and rheumatoid arthritis can all lead to fatigue, weakness, and low energy levels. So schedule a health checkup with your doctor today. We all lead very busy, hectic lives, but you simply have to make time in your schedule for an annual or semi-annual checkup. You may just find a simple cure for your lack of energy, and your overall body health and longevity will benefit as well. Feng Shui for Energy Space Cleaning your home office, that extra bedroom which you use as a storage facility, or your living room, can actually give you an immediate burst of energy. This happens a couple of ways. First off, you benefit from the physical energy surge that comes from moving. But the human brain is designed to crave order. So when your gaze travels over your newly cleaned and clutter-free room, your mental energy is boosted as well. Feng Shui says clutter is a no-no. Feng Shui is the ancient Eastern practice of using proper placement to promote positive energy while clearing negative energy out of your life. And one of the first principles taught by Feng Shui is to remove physical clutter. However, when you look around you, you may feel overwhelmed. Maybe every room in your house needs decluttering. Here are a couple of tips to help you clear that clutter and boost both your short-term and long-term energy levels. Open your windows and let the sun shine in. Just 10 to 20 minutes of exposure to the sun each day provides your body with healthy vitamin D. And when you throw back your drapes and open your blinds, the sunshine entering the cluttered room you're about to tackle actually increases the levels of serotonin in your body. This is the natural happy hormone which can give you the boost you need to straighten even the most disorganized room. Get some fresh air. The American Lung Association reports that poor indoor air quality can lead to lung cancer, asthma, headaches, nausea, and fatigue. Throw open your windows and let some fresh air in before you begin to tackle all that clutter. You'll naturally feel more inclined to do so successfully. Clean up the clutter with some great music. With your favorite tunes playing, Cleaning clutter is not only less painstaking, it can actually be enjoyable. You might be amazed at the amount of organization you can create in a very short period of time when you're prompted by the music that motivates and moves you. We mentioned emotional clutter earlier, and this might be even more of an energy thief than physical clutter. That is because your emotional issues follow you around everywhere you go. There's simply no escaping them. That friend of yours that is addicted to drama the relative that constantly calls to borrow money, 
and your antagonistic coworker must be dealt with, or these emotional vampires will drain your energy dry. Certainly, you should not abandon friends or those in need, but your emotional needs should be addressed as well. You also deserve a clutter-free, clean, and beautiful home and office. Clean up the physical and relationship clutter in your life for an immediate energy boost and a lifetime of well-being and peacefulness. Just say no. You can learn a lot from your two-year-old about boosting your energy level. Around that age, children are infamous for entering the no stage. They say no to just about everything. And as an adult, you can adopt this same strategy for creating an energetic force in your own life. Are you one of those people who always says yes to everyone and everything? It's nice to be able to help your friends and family when they need you, but they could be taking advantage of your kindness. Start putting yourself first. Stop saying yes to every proposal at work and at home. Toxic relationships can definitely lead to stress and drain your energy, and so can constantly trying to please everyone. Caffeine, salt, and sugar are energy killers. Did you know that sugar and salt trigger the same response in your mind that heroin addicts experience when they need a fix? This happens to a much lesser extent, of course, but you get the idea. A high-salt diet harms your heart, making it work harder and causing you to feel slow and tired. Sugar may give you a short burst, but it's artificial. Caffeine works in the same way, and when you crash and burn, you just want more java. Begin cutting back on caffeine, sugar, and salt, and even with no exercise, you will begin feeling healthier. This leads to increased energy stores, and your natural energy level rises. Insert good habits. Cutting out bad habits also includes getting some exercise in your life if you're currently a couch potato. A simple walk around your block for 20 minutes can give you enough energy to last for hours. Don't have the time, you say? You do. The simplest way to activate this good habit is to commit a certain time of day for activity. In fact, it doesn't have to be a continuous time frame. Devote 15 minutes of your morning to some simple bodyweight exercises, for example, sit-ups or crunches or medicine ball arm exercises. You can do this while the coffee perks. You can also use your alarm clock to crank up your energy. When your alarm goes off in the morning, consider it a reminder to do five minutes of simple exercises. Deep knee bends, arm curls, side bends, and crunches get you starting your day with a focused blast of mental and physical energy. And why not use the most intelligent computer in the world to give you an immediate energy boost? Tackle some Sudoku or the New York Times crossword puzzle while standing. When your brain is taxed, your body creates energy, both physical and mental. Even a short energy burst, which gives you an immediate gain, has also been shown to last up to several hours. Not much of a planner? That may be costing you valuable energy. Set schedules and planned routines can keep you filled with energy throughout your day and week especially when you schedule healthy habits like walking and healthy eating to replace your bad ones. Stop beating yourself up mentally and watch your energy soar. Also, since how you feel is so important for physiological and mental reasons, if you practice negative self-beliefs, you may be sapping your energy stores. Each person is absolutely unique and one of a kind. That in and of itself makes you a rare and valuable commodity. When you begin to stop the bad habit of talking down to yourself, verbally and mentally, you begin to realize just how awesome you really are. This starts to uncover all kinds of wonderful possibilities in your life, and you experience a surge of clean and fresh energy that allows you to accomplish all that your new outlook reveals to you. Begin to cut out bad habits in your life. You know what they are, and you understand the powerfully negative effect they're having on your mind, your body, and your relationships. Need more energy? Simply trade a bad habit for a good one. Start or optimize an existing exercise routine. Do you often feel tired and run down, even in the morning? It could be that you've developed some bad habits which are sapping you of much-needed energy. Relationships with emotional vampires can make you feel as tired as physical issues, and if there's a lot of clutter around your home, this can make you feel drained and weak as well. What is the answer? Oftentimes, all you have to do is begin a simple exercise routine or optimize any exercise and workout plans you're currently making. 
Not all exercise and physical effort makes you tired, as was previously believed. Low-intensity cardio workouts can actually increase your energy levels. Robert E. Thayer, Ph.D. and a psychology professor at California State University, has released research which shows that you can decrease fatigue by as much as 65% when you regularly participate in simple exercise. His data also shows that the more daily total steps you take, the more energy you have at the end of the day. This is because your body actually creates whatever energy you demand of it. When you stay sedentary, you feel tired because your body believes it doesn't need any energy. But when you begin exercising on a regular basis, your body creates the energy it needs as well as a surplus, preparing you for your next workout. What kind of exercises are the best to boost your energy? Any cardiovascular or aerobic exercises which get your heart pumping without an intense physical toll on your body are perfect energy boosters. This is because your body creates an abundance of natural little energy producers called mitochondria when you exercise. The more exercise you get, the more mitochondria your body makes, and in return you have more energy. High-intensity workouts are classified as those which push your heart rate to more than 75% of its maximum. While these are definitely better for fat burning and weight loss, Lower-intensity exercises like brisk walking, jogging, and simply getting out of your computer chair or off your couch and moving are excellent energy boosters. Listening to your MP3 player can energize your day, and it's fun. Pilates, yoga, and a quick set of push-ups or crunches can also give you a boost of energy which can last for hours. You can slip in your earbuds and jam to your favorite tunes, run in place, clean out the attic, or perform some deep knee bends. Just get active. And since these are all exercises you can do at home, you don't need an expensive gym membership to start fighting fatigue. Kick that sleepy feeling today by getting vertical and moving. Your energy levels will be higher throughout the day. You'll get more accomplished. Your health will benefit. And you'll feel great about yourself at the same time. Find an energy-boosting outlet. Remember, boosting your energy requires physical and mental activity. WebMD is a consortium of doctors and health professionals that provides excellent free information and resources on the web to help you live a healthier and happier life. And they believe that everyone can benefit from a hobby or pastime, since people with hobbies have lower stress levels and superior mental functioning. Frequent mental stress, whether real or simply perceived, can make you feel overwhelmed, depressed, and even physically tired. Low energy, insomnia, and headaches often accompany tense muscles, aches, and pains when you feel stressed out. Simply put, stress wears you out, but there's a simple solution. Aside from giving you mental and physical energy, hobbies like biking, group walks, hikes, and camping trips efficiently help you cope with stress. This is because endorphins are released when you're physically active and your blood flow is improved. You instantly feel well. And any hobby like painting, sewing, or writing involves your mind and your hands. This is a proven stress-relieving tactic, and less stress means more energy. Find time to do something that you love, whether it's gardening, knitting, or playing a musical instrument. Schedule a daily walk at your local park with a friend. Teach a class on something you know a lot about. Or mentor a young person. When you passionately involve yourself in some pastime or activity that's important to you, the energy benefits are twofold. First, when you join a walking group or spin cycling class, your energy level is boosted by physical activity. You have to get dressed, travel to your destination, and then participate. Cardio and aerobic exercise can boost energy levels for several hours. It can also help you sleep better at night, allowing you to awaken fresh and full of energy the next day. And secondly, taking up a hobby provides mental energy as well. Whether you join the chess club or take up mountain biking, your brain has to do a lot of work. This means that your pastime or social activity is helping improve your mental condition and your outlook. This gives you an energetic boost as your serotonin levels increase. Taking up a hobby, volunteering for a good cause, or joining a socially active group is individually rewarding on so many levels, and you feel good about yourself because you're taking part in an activity that you're passionate about. This energizes you mentally and physically, 
which improves your performance in all areas of your life.